okay, I just got this from a, a friend, Meg Q, and she sent me a bunch of pictures, and this was one of them. Now, what do I see here? I think I see biology. Now, if you read Ovid, O-V-I-D, he talks about the gods that were here creating landscape out of the creatures that were were godlike creatures and all kinds of crazy things. And I see this, and now, even the, just just a couple days ago, scholars admitted that they're finding creatures, bodies, inside of statues. And this is inside a statue. Now, look at the arm. This is the specific spot I want you to look at. You see it? That looks to me like an arm. Now, was it a real arm? I don't know. Was it just a metal stud in there that they had something formed? I don't know. If I was on site, I could tell them. And all of this tissue is easily identified now. It's, I fully understand it very well. And if you were able to get to this site, here's what you should do. Bring a bottle of water, ch -ch -ch -ch, spray water, get a really good close-up shot with a, you know, cell phones probably do the job. I don't know. I use a, a microscope, but whatever you have to do, get a good shot of it, enough away so you can see the whole thing at once, and then a couple of closer up shots, and then as close as you can get to whatever has a significance. And I'm going to show you another shot in, in this series that she sent me that I also see biology. But look at the, this is very, very strange. I mean, you don't see, I've never seen one of these creatures before anywhere on the internet. I don't know where she came up with it, but, um, <laughs> It's very strange to me. And I do see bi biology here, absolutely. And if you were on site, and you had a good microscope, and you could look, and, you know, even catalase tests and so forth, they did make landscapes out of the creatures. It's exactly what Ovid said. Now, hearts bleed out after they die over a long period of time, and that is blood. Now, your heart is up in here on the left side of your ch your chest, and that's exactly where it's bleeding out from. You see this? This is, this is what happens when blood runs out. I mean, it just turns reddish and that coloration. Now, I say this was alive. And you, the tip of the finger here turned black. You see that? That's what vein blood will do is turn black when it's way down at the bottom because it has no way to, to escape. It'll turn black. And as I could see fingernail. I could, you could tell if this was ever alive or not by going there and just looking at it close. Look at this. There's a dog in the background here checking things out. They said they just did this for fun. All right, this is Ovid. He's talking about the creation, the ages of mankind, the flood, Noah, Pyra, his wife, Apollo, all of the gods, Callistro, Mercury, I mean, it, the whole nine yards is exactly, he starts with the myths that the Greco-Roman myths, the Greeks had, and they said, here's what, here's what happened. There was Gaia, there was all these gods, and the planets were gods, and they made it, and all that. I mean, it's, it's exactly the, the history of the Greeks, is what Ovid wrote. He wrote what was written in history, even though it was insane. All right? And he, one of the main things, the first thing in everything that he wrote about was, he said, metamorphosis is the transformation. That means changing something, is the unifying theme amongst his metamorphosis, his, his epic work. He raises this significance explicitly right in the opening lines of the book, the books. And it's in Greek, and blah, 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 blah. I intend to speak of forms changed into new entities. Accompanying this theme is often violence inflicted upon a victim whose transformation becomes part 
of the natural landscape. Remember that again. The, the victim transforms into the landscape, becomes part of the landscape. This theme amalgamates, glues together much explored opposition between the hunter and the hunted and the thematic tension between art and nature. And, and he's making art and nature by making the, all these creatures part of the natural land.